Hello Twin Flames and welcome to Pick A Pal Sunday. So on a Sunday, because I do the weekly reading for the week ahead and the horoscope readings, we do a Pick A Pile. So we're going to use three decks of cards today to tap in with your journey. And we're going to tap in with your energy, their energy, and the energy of your connection. So I'm going to use three decks of Radley Valentine tarot cards. These are really powerful. So for Pile 1, we're going to use the Angel Tarot. For Pile 2, we're going to use the Archangel Power Tarot. And for pile three, we're going to use the animal tarot. So we've got pile one, pile two, or pile three. So there will be a deck calling to you that will contain messages for you. And if you can't choose one, it's because there'll be messages in all three. So take the bits that resonate with your journey, leave what doesn't. Everything will be time stamped in the description box below. And make sure you have a wonderful day. So we've got one, two, and three. When you're ready, pick your pile. Okay, let's do this then. So we're going to start then with pile number one. So let's get a general energy for you for today. This could also be for something coming in for the week. Something for your journey. What do we need to know? Something for your twin. There we go. And something for your connection. Wow. So there's quite a few cards about the connection, which is interesting. So for your energy, first of all, then today... The message is the page of air. So this is saying to you that you are a very honest person. You know, that you are very honest. Sometimes you can be quite logical and try and work things out in your mind. And that brings in your curious spirit. You know, especially when there's delays or things don't seem to be going your way or, you know, you can't work it out with your mind. And that can make you do impulsive things like lash out, maybe send a message and then, Wish you hadn't done that. So this is how you're handling the separation or the times where there's no communication or the times when your masculine seems to be a bit distant or pulling away. And the angels are letting you know that sometimes it can be very challenging to receive the information from a reading because you might think, well, I know that and I feel that I really do. But when I'm not seeing physical results or things changing in the physical world that doesn't really make sense to my logical mind so you're being guided to rise above that and focus on joy and love and gratitude and trusting the journey because sometimes when we become curious in that way we start checking social media we start getting curious about what they're doing and that can bring in triggers so you're being reminded today to focus on you and your aspect of the journey, you're part of it, because that will keep you strong. It says delays or changes to plans. So there could be some delays right now, but delays are happening for a reason. The delay creates the way. And if there is a change in plans, and that's why you're wondering what's going on, or you know, you're kind of curious about things, or you're questioning things, you're being reminded to be very flexible at this time and to have compassion and empathy and understanding and try and see it from their point of view so when we get flexible to things we go with the flow so we're okay if things change and don't seem to be going to plan because we understand that it's on god's plan it says truth and understanding you know because the truth sometimes can be delivered without tact so you know your twin may say oh i can't meet you today and not really explain why, or you may not really understand why these things are happening. You know, if your masculine says they need space, or they may feel they need space to process and change the life and change things in the life. But instead of talking to you about it in a loving way or a way that helps you to understand what they need, they may just block you or not reply. So I feel this is really you understanding the journey from another point of view. You know, things may feel up in the air and before you rush in and do something you may regret, take a step back and process and feel at peace because the journey won't make sense to the logical mind, but it makes sense to the heart. So the energy around your twin is we've got the three of that. So they're missing you, you know, and I feel that this may be why you're feeling a bit curious or a bit stressed out yourself or questioning things because you're feeling a shift and you know that they are missing you because you're missing them. So you're missing each other. So the three of air is about missing someone so much it causes great sadness and 
you, you both need time to heal. So I feel you're both healing right now in the times of separation or when there's no communication. You're being prepared for something. And it says the need to forgive yourself or others. So right now, the reason why your masculine may be a bit distant is because they've created chaos. You know, they may have said something to you or acted in a certain way that wasn't true to their heart. In other words, they may have been wearing that mask and not admitted the feelings to you or lied to you because they've been denying things and hiding the way they truly feel because they love you. But I feel they've been kind of burying that a little bit and now they need to forgive themselves for doing that, for hurting them, for hurting you, for maybe hurting others. And I also feel that, you know, they feel a great sadness about a loss. So I feel this could be someone's masculine may have lost someone, you know, in life, like a mum or a dad or someone they were close to. But this is also, they're afraid, they're afraid of losing things in their life. And that's fear. It's fear-based. It isn't real. It's illusion. I feel that someone here may be worried about the children, you know, worried about breaking up the family. They don't want to cause sadness yet. They know it's absolutely the right thing to do and they need to forgive themselves for that. So if you're curious what's going on in their journey, if they're with someone else, you know, if they've got kids, they are, you know, getting ready to make changes. So I feel the reason why you may be questioning things is because you feel something shifting you're feeling the sadness coming from your twin because he's missing you. He's missing you and he's feeling very sad about his life, the way it's turned out. It hasn't turned out the way he expected, to, expected it to. And that's causing delays and it's causing sadness and it's causing, you know, blocks in communication. So the energy around the connection, we've got the king of air. So I love how you've got all this air energy because it's about change and it's about the mind and dealing with fear. So... Your masculine is showing you with the king of air that he's doing something about this. You know, he he's, may seem indifferent to you, but he is making changes. He's kind of planning right now and in the planning phase, the processing phase. And, you know, he's got quite a brilliant mind. So when he does things, then and he makes a decision, that's it. You know, he makes that decision. He will follow through on his plans. And he says, speak your mind with confidence. So this is what he's working towards you know, speaking his truth, what's on his mind with confidence. And all the masculines are getting ready for this right now to express themselves, to explain themselves, to talk to you, the divine feminine, but also talk to other people in his life that, you know, about his life and the things he needs to change, especially if there's children involved. You know, the reason why I'm seeing that there is I'm seeing a little fold there and says seek out professional advice so there could be a professional needed maybe someone connected with divorce like a lawyer a solicitor someone who can give them advice maybe a therapist if they're quitting an addiction or they need to heal something in their life and that professional advice could also be having a reason it could be talking to friends who are giving them advice on a very powerful level it says balance so again balance needs to come in balance mental and emotional considerations and the mind so the masculine is your masculine is trying to balance the emotion and you know the what's going on in the mind so this is really like balancing logic and, and love and i feel you're both going through this you know you may be trying to understand it but it doesn't make sense to the mind so you know, when we think of it with the mind, we only go into fear. So we have to overcome that and listen with the heart and soul and our spiritual self. But your masculine is showing you he is healing aspects of himself to feel more balanced. I feel his mind is occupied. You know, he's very up and down. And that's another reason why there may be delays because you've been protected. We've also got the night of fire. So the night of fire is about action and the night, obviously it's a night as in, you know, a night like this, but I'm seeing this is in the, at the night time, there's all this fire. So I feel at night you may be having very powerful, intimate dreams of each other. You may be connecting through the, the 5D realm, maybe even the 3D realm if you're coming together at night to be intimate. But there's so much passion there. And your twin is a very passionate person, you know, very adventurous when they allow themselves to be and the restless right now because they've been held back you know they feel like they're missing out on things and that's bringing in change 
And he says, a sudden event that needs immediate attention because time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So that's where your twin is right now, thinking things through carefully because they know that they need to make a change now. You know, time is of the essence. They don't want you moving on. Your masculine can feel you kind of questioning things and maybe even doubting things a little bit. And he's saying, I need to take immediate action. I need to take immediate you know, action towards this. So this journey is getting immediate attention and, you know, sudden activity. And I feel something may have occurred in your twin's life recently that's made him think about this. And we've got the knight of us. So I love that you've got all these court cards, you know, page, king, knight, because it's about progression. And the knight of earth is a card that really says to you that everything's going to be okay. You know, there will be a shift, there will be eventual positive outcome. Your masculine is loyal to you and you are loyal to them. And you are both dedicated to this journey, no matter how it seems in the physical world. And, you know, you're both kind-hearted people and you're both honourable. So you both deserve this love. And he says, this is a time to buckle down and get things done. Honour your commitments, a guardian angel. So the angels are all around you right now. You know, you both have a guardian angel as well as all the other angels. And that guardian angel is watching over you, guiding you, protecting you, helping you, giving you guidance, keeping you safe. So your twin is not alone. They have their guardian angel. And right now they may be honouring their commitments, especially if they've got kids. And that could be taking up their time. So especially as we move towards, you know, Christmas time and the new year and, you know, all these things going on. But your masculine is feeling this deep sadness of loss when they are connecting with you. And that's the honest truth here. You know, he's missing you and there's great sadness there. So you have to give it the time it needs to heal. So I feel your journey moving forward in the new year. Things have shifted, as you know, with Sagittarius energy and with the Lion's Gate portal bringing power and with the 1111. So it's been a transformation. It's like baby steps from the page into the king. And this is what's happening. So you've been asked to have patience at this time. And, you know, really you're both reparenting yourself to do things in the right way. You know, so that you don't hurt each other anymore. So before you rush in, take your time, breathe and know that all is well and you are safe. And you've got the life experience card at the bottom of the deck. You know, remember, it's all happening for soul growth. I hope that helps. Okay, powerful. Pile two, welcome. Welcome. So we've got this gorgeous Archangel Power Tarot for you. This is one of my favourite decks. So let's get an energy for you. What's happening with you today? What do we need to know for you? What's happening with your twin? What's happening with your twin? Clear card. Thank you, angels. And what's happening with your connection right now? What's happening with your connection? There we go. Wow. So I love how today there's one card coming out for you and them and a few for the, the connection. So the energy around you, we've got the page of Raphael. So the page is about learning and growth and Raphael is the healer. You know, he's the healer of the heart, the body, the mind, the soul. So he brings in healing energy and he's, he's asking you to be very gentle with yourself at this time. You know, you are a very gentle, loving, dreamy person. You've got an open heart. And sometimes, you know, you can get hurt because you're vulnerable. But vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a powerful strength. And the page of Raphael is really bringing in power. You know, power to understand, to see, to know that things are working out, to focus on the future and the now. And he says a new emotional situation. So I feel your journey is moving forward in a more loving way. You know, there's a lot of emotions around. Something may have happened that's emotional within your situation. And it's brought up highs and lows and ups and downs, but you are still loved and you still feel loving towards your twin. And you're still being very gentle about this journey. And you're still dreaming about the future and trusting and being open hearted. So it's like whatever's going on hasn't shut your heart down where it could have well done that. I feel it's done that in the past, but not now. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. So I feel that You've been receiving many, many signs and many, many synchronicities about your journey. And, you know, that's also showing you things are moving ahead. Whether that's a sign you see or a synchronicity or the fact that 
the universe gives you a sign or you watch a reading, but you're receiving all the intuition that you need because you're receiving great intuitive insights. So you're being reminded that your psychic senses are true and real and powerful and you know your truth. So this is showing you who you are as the divine feminine, that you are strong. And if you're masculine watching this, if this is your energy here, you know, you're feeling very powerful. So you're operating in your feminine self as well as your masculine self. And there's going to be invitations coming to you to do things. There's going to be messages coming to you from your twin. So I feel this is either the doors of communication are already open, which means you're already communicating, or they're about to open. So, and they're going to be opened in a very loving, gentle, dreamy, emotional way. So this is talking about the future, and this is magic ahead. And Archangel Raphael has got you, you know, he's helping you to feel at peace, to bring in a beautiful healing energy. And the energy around your twin is the four of Michael. So this is, again, quiet time, reflection, processing, thinking, going within. So even though there may be some quiet time, your twin may be a bit silent or distant or if there is still any form of separation, you know things have shifted. You can feel something's changed and you feel very emotional. So you may be feeling a bit emotional today, but it's more in a loving, grateful way than a sadness way. So insights that come from quiet meditation. So your twin is really having time today to reflect, to think, to feel, to understand, you know, in meditation. So meditation isn't always sitting there and, um, you know, and listening to music. It's anything that brings in peace. So meditation could be going out for a walk. The masculines can sometimes gain peace by going out in the car for a drive, you know, or going fishing or doing something that brings them a little bit of peace, maybe just having time to themselves. And it is a Sunday, so they may have that. But they have this need for more sleep or time off. So they may be having some rest today, you know, or having some time off work today to give back and replenish the self and seek relief from stress. So I do feel your masculine is a little bit stressed right now, especially with Christmas time. They may have just celebrated Thanksgiving. That could have been stressful too. So it's like the masculine hears you and loves you and wants you, but is giving themselves a little bit of space today. So the energy around the connection, we've got the eight of aerial. So this is letting you know that you're both doing the work. You're both doing the work and that's bringing in change. There is movement occurring in your connection. It says take great pride in your excellent work. So be proud of what you're achieving. You know, and you may be proud of what you're achieving at work right now, you know, in your mission and service. But take great pride in all the things you've been learning and all the wisdom and power. And I feel this is a big sign that be proud of your twin because they're doing the work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So the additional education or training is in the school of life. You know, you're still learning, you're still growing, both of you. Because practice makes perfect. You're still getting it right. And that's why it takes time. And we've got the Queen of Raphael. And this is, again, this kind, understanding, giving, loving, psychic energy where you know who you are. So I feel this is about the way you inspire your twin to be a better person. You inspire them to follow their heart and, you know, love and understand and give. So they know who you are. You know, this is you in your power and you're both being guided to follow your hearts, to do what feels right, to express, to talk about love in the future and to do what feels right, connect you with career or work. A love of home and family. So you both have this love for creating a future. You know, you both may have families, you may have homes that you love, but you're going to build something even more better together when you are in union. And they're giving me fear. So releasing fear around being together. Trustworthy psychic information. So you know you can trust the guidance you receive when you feel it inside. So in other words, if you watch a reading, it really resonates with you. Then you know that's trustworthy psychic information for you. If you watch a reading and it feels off or it doesn't feel right, it makes you feel bad, then you know that you can trust yourself more than that reading. And I feel this also about your twin coming to an understanding that they are so much more than just a physical being. They're starting to trust in how they feel that they're worthy. So I feel your masculine's been going through a lot of healing around being available to you because 
he hasn't felt worthy until now. So he's starting to rise up and know that he deserves your love. And this is real. We've got the Ace of Gabriel, very powerful because this is about action. So there's a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. And I feel that's what we've all been given right now through the Sagittarius energy that we are in. It's like Sagittarius is lending us the archer, a gift, a gift of passion, opportunity, inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. So feel the magic and everything. I feel that's what you're doing here. You know, even when things are hard, you're still looking for the good in things. You're still optimistic. You know that things are shifting and you know that you're being given a gift as a twin flame and that everything you want is on its way. And there's the chance here to do something amazing, to come together, to work on your purpose together. So you are a power couple and you have the chance to be together and do things that are amazing. So this is about the newness coming in. And I feel there's a big shift occurring. You know, there's definitely been a big shift since August for you. But between December and, you know, the energy moving forward, you know, the powerful energy moving forward, like December to March, magic coming in. And we've also got the High Priestess. So this whole reading is really about your reminder of your power as a divine feminine and as a psychic being to trust your intuition. So when you go into any struggle, Archangel Honiel, the angel of peace and grace will come in and calm your mind and remind you that you know powerful psychic insights, you know through your truth and you reflect and meditate and that provides answers, valuable information to bring peace in. So I feel you're both taking time out today to reflect, to heal, maybe to meditate. Maybe that's what you're doing today. You know, maybe going by the ocean here or taking some time off or going somewhere, doing something. But ultimately, you know that you are one and you know that you're both doing the work. You know that things are shifting and changing and that's because you feel it inside. So the message for you today is trust your intuition because that's more powerful than anything that's going on in the physical world. I hope that helps well. Pal three, welcome. So you've chose this gorgeous animal tarot. So you may have a real connection with animals, spirit guides, maybe you're surrounded by pets yourself, but animals help you, whether it's a sign you see like the stag or another sign or animals that bring peace to you, or you connecting with your own animal spirit guides. So what's the energy around you right now? What do we need to know for you? Thank you, angels. The energy around your twin and the energy around your connection. What do we need to know? Here we go. On that one as well. So the energy around you right now, we've got the Queen of Winter. So this is you and your power. The Queen of Winter is very powerful, resilient, strong. She knows who she is, what she wants. And whether you are a guy or a gal, you know, you know your power. So this is about you knowing that you will learn from your own experiences and that you are independent and self-sufficient. And, you know, you don't need to rely on anyone. You've also got a great sense of humour when it's allowed to come out. So you've been reminded to look for the good in things and have some fun. Maybe things have been a bit serious lately. So do something that boosts your mood and makes you laugh. And look for the funny side of things as well because that brings in power. And knowing that you are brilliant and funny and your masculine thinks that you are brilliant and funny and, you know, powerful. And your masculine is inspired by you by your self-sufficient energy, the way you are, that you don't need anyone to survive, you know, and sometimes it's hard to stay on that branch because you may feel like you want to fall off it, but the angels give you the support you need, and this is the leopard, and also leopard is Leo part, so there may also be some Leo energy here, or maybe you felt powerful or changes occurring since the Lionsgate portal, but Leo is about strength. So, you know, you could be a Leo yourself or you could be connected with a Leo. But this is about the strength within you that comes through. It says all of your life experiences, everything you've been through, have prepared you for this moment now. This is a moment of truth in your life. It's time to declutter your home, clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore and discover who you are and disengage from people who stop you from being happy. You know, we're trying to create more drama in your life than happiness. So this is like a bit of a cleansing. And, you know, if anything's being released from your life lately, 
you know, without you even realising or wanting it to happen. It's happening because you've been cleansed. So you've been cleansed for something brand new. You know, you are strong and powerful and you know you have a connection with source. And now's the time to sort out home, declutter, maybe clear rounds and get ready for something else because something big is coming here. The energy around your twin is the eight of summer and we've got the kangaroo. So it could be an Australian connection there. But the kangaroo is about moving forward. You know, kangaroos move forward. They're also very loving. So your twin may have children or want children. So as you feel that there's more to life than what you're doing. So even if your twin is living a good life, or they seem to be living a good life, there's more to life. They know that there's more. You know, they're craving more. They could have everything, but they're still craving something more. And that something more is you and the life that they want with you. So really what they're craving is you. There's more to life than what you have and what you've been doing. So it's time to move on. So I feel your twin knows that no matter what, even if they have children, even if they are in a relationship, they need to move on. It's time for a change for them. And I do feel August has been important in your connection because it's coming up again. So I feel that, you know, that's when they started realizing things and making changes. So think they're actually making changes, even though they may be very subtle ones. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you need to buckle down, this is the word they give me, to buckle down and get things done and to work on what makes you happy. Other ways to become in, in control. So it's either way you're in control. So it feels like looking at other ways, alternative ways to take control of this situation. Maybe they've tried it one way, but it hasn't worked. So they need to do it another way. And that may be blocking communication. So they give me a little tickle in the throat there <clears throat> it feels that like they want to communicate they want to express <clears throat> yeah there's a block there but they need to sort out the situation first <clears throat> they don't want to let you down lead you on cause you pain so all themselves so there's something blocking the connection because remember a block is actually happening for a reason and it's connected with family or children or something they need to release first so the energy around the connection we've got the nine of autumn so the Nine of Autumn is a card of self-sufficiency, a lot like you've had here with the, you know, this Queen of Winter, with the Leopard here. It's about doing you and feeling at peace with things, contentment. You know, the cat is with her eyes closed there. So it's just about enjoying the now, you know, being in the moment, enjoying your own company. I feel that's what they are doing too. And the Ragdoll Cat, you know, the Ragdoll is about going back to basics. So I feel your twin would be happy with nothing if they could have you. And, you know, they see you as a doll. You know, they say that in, in the olden days, a doll, you know, someone who's amazing. You know, everything beautiful, kind, loving. And he says your success, so we all own success is through your contentment and feeling at peace with yourself. Your success has bought you financial security and the reward of more deserved time off to enjoy your own company. So what I'm actually feeling with this is, you know, you may feel that you need more money right now, or you may feel that you are content with your financial situation. But ultimately, you have time right now to give back to you. And you are protected. And I feel that your twin may be well off, or have plenty or enough, you know, and they're going to be able to live a good life with you. So I feel this is about you enjoying the later years, you know, not necessarily retirement years, but having time to share together. And you will have the security to do that, to go on adventures, to explore, you know, to have fun. So as you may suddenly have a brilliant idea for a business or self-employment and an opportunity that will be very successful. So I feel you, you know, if you aren't self-employed now, this is in your future. So relax and breathe about money, finances, work, because something is coming here. Something is on the way. It's in the pipeline. It may not have turned up yet, but you're going to be a very successful entrepreneur. And we've got the seven of summer. And this is a Maine Coon kitten. So I love how you've got cats and kittens. You may love cats and kittens. But this is about the energy of independence. So I feel there's a lot of independence in your connection. That means you may be the single one. And you're very inspiring to your twin, you know, and even though they may have children, 
they, they feel single even if they're in a, a marriage or a commitment because I feel it's them and the children that matter to them because I'm not seeing a family unit there. I'm just seeing them and a son or them and a daughter or them and their kids. So it's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward with a priority. So, you know, with a priority, what I'm feeling with that is you with their priority and they are your priority. So if they make a decision to move forward, you know, that's with you, their priority. So your twin definitely needs to make a decision to change things. Or you could, but I feel this could be your twin's energy. If you need to do more research, then do so. But don't overthink the situation. Instead, listen to your heart. So they need to listen to their heart to follow their truth to move forward to you. And we've got the six of winter, rescue cat. So you may feel you want to rescue your twin, but he's also rescuing himself. And, you know, this is also about moving forward, light at the end of the tunnel, better times ahead. And we've got the mixed breed there. So there could also be some mixed energy, feeling mixed up, confusion. But I feel this about differences, you know, mixed race couple, for example, or coming from different places or coming from different worlds, or there could be an age gap. He says, the challenging times are coming to an end, and you can now breathe a sigh of relief, let the past go, and embrace the happier times ahead. So whatever's happened in the past, let that go. It doesn't matter. It's healed you, grown you, made you stronger, and got you here now. So this is about the light at the end of the tunnel. And I definitely feel a voyage forward to you, moving towards you, especially between now and June. And we've got the King of Spring. So there could be a Sagittarius energy here. Leo, again, I'm picking up on Leo. Um, you know, fire energy. I'm feeling more Sagittarius and Leo than Aries. But there could be an Aries energy there too. But this is about fire, passion, loyalty. The King. So your masculine may seem like a king in his life, but he's missing out on you. And this is the Kang Katanga Lion. And I love that because, again, we've got this energy of you know, the kangaroo, they're giving me things like Katanga Canyon or, you know, kind of power energy with a lion. So there's definitely lion energy around you and lions are about strength. So I feel you've both been given the strength you need. And, you know, the leopard here is, is the queen. She's got, this is like a female energy and this is definitely a masculine energy. And he says, now is your moment to step up to a leadership role. So your twin is definitely taking control of their life to become the leader in it. So I feel they may already be a leader in life, but they need to take charge of their own personal life. And I feel that you're ready to step up to a leadership role, whether that's as an entrepreneur or as a manager or, you know, doing something where you are over people, leading others, you know, like in a job where you are the boss. Don't back away from the spotlight. So this is also what your twin is dealing with. You know, if there's a celebrity energy here, you know, maybe they're thinking about backing away from the spotlight. But he says, don't back away from that. You don't need to. Your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the bigger picture. So I feel that, you know, your twin is not necessarily going to leave the celebrity lifestyle or being in the spotlight or in the public eye, but they're going to do things in a different way. And that may resonate with you. But this is also about, you know, if you feel like you're being watched right now, you know, you don't need to back off from the spotlight. That could be on social media. Just do things a different way. You know, your plans will be successful as long as you focus on the bigger picture. That means don't get annoyed by the ego or frustrated. Just live in the now. So everything's working out in the right way. But there's a lot of thinking about the future and what needs to be done. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.